Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be talking about a brand new feature within QuickBooks Online for accountants. Now, first of all, just making very clear on this one, this is an accountant only feature. And as an accountant only feature means that only accountants can use it. Now, this feature has just been announced at QuickBooks Connect, which is the ultimate conference for the world of QuickBooks in the UK. The conference is going on as we speak at this time, but I was given a sneak peek at what was going to be announced. And I want to make sure that you know exactly about it. So join me as we go and have a look at one of the biggest features that was announced at QuickBooks Connect, which is a solution called Books to Tax, giving you the opportunity as an accountant to create the tax returns and company accounts directly in QuickBooks Online. Trust me when I say this is going to be an absolute game changer. I've got a lot to show you. Can't wait for it. So roll that VT and we'll go straight into it. Hello, welcome to this video. My name is Aaron Patrick. I am a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer, fancy new logo, that QuickBooks chap on the internet, and also head of account here at Boffix. Yes, it's a lot to go through, but today is a very exciting day because today we're talking about books. Here's a nice little book here of advanced accounts to tax. I know you don't like seeing HMRC tax returns. Now this piece of software is going to be huge for the world of accountants. What it gives us the opportunity is make sure that we're building our company accounts and tax return directly in the product, not having to go to any other third party, which means we're going to be more efficient and going to give us the opportunity to have some wonderful solutions in hand to make sure that we're as accurate as we possibly can be. I'm so excited for this update and I've been playing around with it a little bit so let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight into it and let's find out exactly what Books to Tax has to offer. Okay let's not get straight into it. Let's see what we've got in front of me and the first thing you should notice is this is QuickBooks Online. I'm not in any other software. I'm not doing anything else differently. I am in QuickBooks itself and that's the point of this particular video. We are in QuickBooks. We're not in any other piece of software. We're in QuickBooks Online itself. I don't know about you, but I'm so excited about this. So before I go any further, let's talk about what was actually announced at QuickBooks Connect. Well, QuickBooks has expanded the Work Papers product to include a new innovation, Books to Tax, which now allows accountants to prepare, check and file annual accounts and corporation tax to company sales and HMRC respectively. The Books to Tax Auditor feature is now also available to highlight potential errors on CT600 forms. The Word Papers pr product is designed to gather and group documents together to simplify annual accounts preparation. Together with Books of Tax, the tool enables accounting professionals to move quickly and easily complete year-end accounts without needing to manually move data between systems. And boy, oh boy, are we excited about this one. So going into QuickBooks itself, I'm now going to move over to the Accountants Tools area. From Accountant Tools, I'm going to go to one of my favorite areas in QuickBooks, Word Papers. And if you're not using Word Papers, Start using work papers now. So from a work papers point of view, I'm going to go into there, let it go through, and it's going to be exactly the same as normal. My year end tasks are there as I always have done, and I'll make sure I go through and tick these as I go along. My documents area is going to be here where I can make sure I've got documents in place to give those supporting documents so that I know I've got my accounts right or wrong. I've got the review and adjust area so I can go through ticking items that I know I'm happy with, and then even my reviewer can come along and tick them as well. Give me an option to go through and actually put in some questions to my maybe my team members or to the client and get them all sorted. Grouping and statements is an area where I get to clean up all the data, make sure it's all looking absolutely spick and span, ready for the next area, tax mapping. And this is brand new to QuickBooks work papers. From here, I get the opportunity to decide what it is I need to tax to. So it's going to be my CT600 tax return form. We found four on that account totaling £109.71. So straight away, it's building in solutions and uh, opportunities to make sure we're not making a mistake here. So at the moment, I've not got current. My bank account hasn't been assigned a tax line. Director's loan hasn't been assigned a tax line. And intercompany hasn't been assigned a tax line. I go through. And from this page, I can press assign tax, go through, and I can say what this one was. So in this case, it's not to be mapped. And because it's a balance sheet item, I don't need to map these items. Ordinary shares at the bottom, it's asking me where I need to do. I can then go through and put them through. Then on my tax line here, it's telling me what my business expenses have been put under. Dues and subscription, meals and entertainment, office expenses, travel, use of home. They've all been put to the one. And I can use this handy little pencil here to say what, tax line I want that to be. So is that going to be expense, business expense, put it to there, 
press save and now it's going to be allocated there accordingly. Same with turnover. I can go through and I can make sure my turnover has been allocated correctly. Now at the top here, once I've gone through assigning them, I have the option to export, which means that I can bring this area straight through. And I've got a nice little breakdown of what items have been mapped and which ones are unmapped at this point in time. So I can be happy with those ones. It gives me the option to print. Okay, so let's use the start return in ProTax option at the top. This is that new feature. This is a feature where we're taking the information we've just done, and instead of having to send it anywhere else, we're doing it directly in QuickBooks itself. So from here, it's asking me, well, what's my data resource? Where's it coming from? So in this case, I know it's coming straight from my QuickBooks client work papers, but I do have the opportunity to start a blank return if I need to. I can do my year end procedures just here, so I can choose what my year end's gonna be. Um, I can see that it's bringing the information directly in from, from our work papers, and I can go to my work papers if I wanna make any adjustments to that at any point. But basically, once I'm happy with it, I press continue. And straight away, it's just populating all the information directly in my company tax return. So from here, I can see what my company tax return is. I can see any company information that I need to put in. So maybe I need to put my registration and tax and type of company in there. About my return, I've got the opportunity to tick the boxes that I might need to. Tax calculation, I can see what information it's bringing in and how it's making my tax return from here. Information about an enhanced expenditure. So if I've got R&D or anything like that, I can bring that straight in. And I have all the other pages that I have from a CT600. I even at the bottom here have my CT600A. So if I have any director's loans and I've got any section 455 I need to bring in, I can bring this straight from here. What I really like though is at the top up here, I've got a live auditor option and a quick mode option. Live auditor, if I go into my auditor area, it's telling me all my errors. I can see straight away empty accounts attached. I'm not generating my account yet. I need to get them in there. Empty company registration, empty company tax, and empty rate of tax, empty tax reference. It's telling me straight away what are my problems I've got. At the bottom here as well, add new forms or letter. This quite makes me excited because I've got different forms I can add regarding my tax return. And I know as well, there's opportunities to bring in letters and things like that into here so we can bundle and package a solution for our clients to make them understand what's going on. Okay, so I've got my tax return into a position where I'm pretty happy with it. In the top though, I have the options to import the CT600, go to work papers, print the return, print this form or letter, duplicate, the return, so if I want to copy it, maybe to do an amendment, for example, save and close, share this return, and I can share it as well. You can share this return with anyone in your firm that has access to this client. So if maybe I want to send it for a review, or if I have a question on it, maybe I need some specialist area of it. Well, I grab this link, put it into something like Teams or something, put my message over there, and then that person can quickly go back to the area that I've got a problem with. I get the opportunity to put document in return and what is gonna actually go for submission to Companies House and HMRC. Top right corner, I get the chance to file to Companies House and HMRC. Now, as you can see, this is a first look at it and there is much more to dive into and look into. And really, we need to put an ultimate guide together on how you can get your tax return completed as an accountant in QuickBooks Online. But as a first look, you can see that there's a lot of opportunity there. Loving that audit functionality, be able to tell us where we've gone wrong before we've gone wrong. Letting us know that there's a quick and easy way of just bringing that data directly in. Now, the idea that we're working directly in QuickBooks, meaning that we're having all of the features with QuickBooks like client request and having the ability to use the receipt snap and having the ability to bring data in from your bank account means that we're gonna be preparing much more accurate and much more straightforward accounts. The problem we always have with third party is, well, you've got to rely on the information in QuickBooks, then rely on the information in the new third party solution, and then you've got to make sure the two of them are talking to one another. This way around, we're going to have the opportunity and the, the chance to be able to make sure that they do talk to one another and you're always looking at the same data. This is a great first start. And although we've not had a chance to play around with it here, we do have the option to create a new return using a blank return. So we don't have to be using QuickBooks to be able to create these tax returns and account. At the top here, we can select which accounts we want to bring in there. So we've got CT600, and if we press the Add button, we can add new forms as well. And from this view here, we can also see what the status of our accounts are at any point in time. And that's it, that's a first look at Box to Tax. 
promise you there is some really good functionality in here and it's definitely something we're going to be keeping an eye on on this channel so if you want to keep up to date with the world of books attacks and everything else quickbooks related make sure you subscribe to this channel because then you're going to be the first to know what's happening in the world of quickbooks online my name has been Alan patrick this video has been an absolute pleasure to do for you please do let me know in the comment section below what you think of this new feature i personally can't wait to really get my teeth into this start having an opportunity to file the first set of account because I really do think this is going to be an absolute game changer to the world of QuickBooks Online. My name has been Aaron Patrick. I have absolutely loved doing this video because this is what QuickBooks is all about. Innovating and making sure that we have brand new software, brand new ways in which we can deliver the best possible service to our clients. My name has been Aaron Patrick. It's been a pleasure to do this video for you and I will see you in the next video. But oh, before I say that, don't forget to keep an eye on the rest of the content on this channel over this time. It's still, still QuickBooks Connect at this point in time, which means we've got lots of content coming your way. So please do make sure that you keep an eye on our content channel to make sure you're up to date with what's happening in the world of QuickBooks. My name is Aaron Patrick. I'm so excited for what's happened. Can't wait to see the next innovation going forward and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.